joining me in the studio, delighted to say, as with every Wednesday, is Benedict Spence, who's Conservative commentator, but not so conservative that you're invited to that conference in Brussels that got shut down. Sadly, I'm not hard right enough. Hard right, hard right, yeah. no. Or, or <laughs> as, Kay Burley, as Kay Burley called them uh, this morning, unsavoury characters. Well, I'm definitely an unsavoury character. Yeah, that's just, true. you know. It's definitely an unsavoury character. Just not quite the right kind of unsavoury. Unsavoury. Really. What, what do you right. make of, of that conference? It was a national conservatism, I hate that word, yeah. conservatism conference. Um, Nigel Farage uh, was, was actually on stage when the socialist mayor sent the police in uh, mm. to try and close it down. They decided there were three officers they probably wouldn't, but they decided to put a circle of steel uh, mm. around uh, this venue. It's the third venue, by the way, for this conference, because yeah. they, they kept being shut down. Uh, you, know, you don't host this venue, we'll make life hard for you. Threats even made mm. to the, the, the venue owner's wife. I mean, extraordinary mm. stuff going on. Um, and then people weren't allowed out, so mm. they wouldn't allow caterers in, so no one had any food. And if you went out, you couldn't get in. Some of the speakers who were due to speak couldn't get in. Mm. But we had, you know, um, you know Miriam Cates, very sound Conservative MP uh, in this country. Swella Bradman, our former Home Secretary, for goodness sake. Uh, we, we had leaders of major political parties in Europe we were likely to win the European elections, mm. Nigel Farage pointed out. Viktor Orban, the Hungarian Prime Minister, due to speak later this week. Um, I don't agree with Viktor Orban on a lot of things. He's probably quite a nasty piece of work. But he's democratically elected. Mm. Um, the idea that a socialist mayor of some, let's face it, Tim Pot, city in Belgium. <laughs> in a Tim Pot city, a Tim Pot mayor in a Tim Pot city in a Tim Pot country in mm. Europe gets to have a say over whether or not politicians from this country or any other can speak completely, you know, normal mainstream mm. political views mm. uh, or be faced being shut down. It's an extraordinary attack on freedom of speech. It is. Just on an unrelated note, are you saying it's a Tim Pot country? Belgium has done very well out of the European Union, hasn't oh, it? Oh, haven't they just? But I think, you know, it is... As, as, as also, you say, they brought us mayonnaise with chips. So, well done. Thanks for your contribution to the world. Yes, and chocolate. Okay, that's three things. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> what, what have the Romans, Belgians ever done for us? What have the Romans ever done for us? Got off on a slight tangent. Do you um, like mayo with the chips? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's good. Yeah, they were onto something, weren't they? Maybe they aren't. Anyway, anyway. Have we got off the track? Yeah, we have. we have. It wasn't a reason this is to the stay. Quality. You don't get this on Radio 4. <laughs> you absolutely don't. Now, they'll the be talking about the life cycle of a butterfly right now. The r r greatest spotted Belgian butterfly. That's what it would be. Um, honestly, I mean, it's a sign, I think, of the the, the lack of confidence in certain, certainly amongst the centre, I think, across yeah. Europe the centre left that there is this kind of whack-a-mole approach to shutting down conservative conferences um, none of it is to be applauded at all obviously it's disgraceful that it has because as you said a lot of the people who are speaking it are perfectly mainstream one of them is but, an elected head of an yeah, EU member but, state but even if they weren't right? yeah. so you talk about centre I don't think the idea you know the centrist dad thing yeah, I don't yeah. think what well, where where so many people in Europe and and America and the UK think that what is centrist Mm. I don't think it's centrist anymore. I think it's actually remarkably far left and authoritarian. Mm. Yeah, I think also though, and this is the thing that slightly you know strikes me as you know the desire to shut down these conferences. Mm. The fact that there are so many of them is to me a sign that there is a real crisis of confidence or ideas on the right in Europe. And we see that in the fact that the Conservative Party have gone left wing. They have so yeah. few ideas uh, over the last few, if, few years. So what's the threat exactly? That they might yeah. be able to organise themselves into having a conference and they all turn up on time? Because that would be a start. You yeah. know, is there really but, that the, the chance that they're all going to sort of manifest into a com you know, competent you know, coalition of people? I don't think <laughs> so. Except we do know a lot of those, uh, I mean, again, they're called far right, hard right mm. uh, you know, characters. Again, a lot, a lot of these parties are just, you know, conservative parties with mm. a small c. Uh, they are centre-right parties. They have policies like not having unlimited illegal or, or legal migration to their countries. I mean, this is not controversial policy to most people. It's not even a left-right thing. Mm. It is extraordinary how much Everton Window has shifted mm. uh, in terms of, you know, what is considered to be, you know, normal or not. Um, I, I, I do find that absolutely extraordinary. But anyway, we shall... Um, uh, oh, you know, we shall wait and see what happens because obviously they're going to carry on with this conference. Mm. Um, but um, you know, again, finding another venue, uh, the socialist mayor has been sort of criticised uh, even even by sort of other EU leaders. So that is a begin a start, and even by Rishi Sunak, which I thought was good, although mm. interestingly not by Labour. Uh, here. Uh, we have seen, um, I think Jonathan Ashworth was doing an interview and he was asked about this last night and he was just sort of going, ha ha, you know, yeah, this is going to shut down. But the thing is, you know, be careful what you wish for. I don't ever need 
someone mm. whose views that I disagree with to be shut down because I'm perfectly capable. And I felt this about Nick Griffin going on mm. from the BNP going on Question Time. I always argued these people should be given a platform. And it's amazing when these people are given a platform, how quickly their power completely dissipates because mm. because actually they haven't got anything useful or sensible to say. I mean, as you say, nobody wants, well, we shouldn't want BNP meetings to be broken up because, as you said, when they went on Question Time, uh, Nick Griffin went on and everybody heard what they had to say, well, it all collapsed. Now, now there's only about seven of them. That would be the conference if it were to have one. It's not worth breaking up. Um, I think you're completely right. It's about the disinfectant of a, of, a, of a tension, actually. When people hear bad ideas actually being put out there in the public sphere, they don't just sort of always nod and go, oh, yeah, absolutely, mm. this is justified. There are a few things, obviously, and I think that the Labour Party indulges rather a lot of them. It's interesting, therefore, that they're not saying, you know, that Sir Keir Starmer has not come out and condemned this because he doesn't want to come out, you know, down on one side of the fence or, or otherwise because that's his thing, to say as little yeah, as possible. Exactly. But yesterday, I think it was Annalise Dodds talking about how Britain was a bad environment for uh, black and ethnic minority businesses and you're thinking so there are some sorts of extremism that you will indulge in and you know playing race relations to try oh, to divide people absolutely. you're fine with that that's absolutely. okay Always. whereas if a right-wing person did that oh boy can uh, you imagine the absolutely. backlash absolutely this is extraordinary isn't it